Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of Haltech's new Elite 2500T ECU. So let me ask you a question. Are you interested in drag racing? Do you often wonder why some cars just seem to go down track time after time with pinpoint consistency? Well, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Not all ECUs are created equally. So what I have here to show you today is an Elite 2500T ECU. And to look at this ECU, you would think it's identical to the Elite 2500. And quite honestly, to look at, it is identical. In fact, even the feature set of the Elite 2500T is identical to that of the 2500. Then what's the difference between these two boxes, apart from the letter T tacked onto the end of its name? You see, the T part of the Elite 2500T refers to advanced torque management. That's a function that's contained within this box. And it's this advanced torque management that's the dirty little secret that keeps some drag racers going down track with pinpoint consistency time after time after time. You see, drag racing is a balancing act. We're balancing power delivery with traction available. Too much power, you spin the tires and you're making tire smoke and not going down track. Flip side of this, you've got plenty of traction, you don't spin the tires and maybe you could have put more power in and gone faster. So what we really want to do is apply as much power as possible without spinning the tyres. And this is where Howtech Advanced Torque Management steps in. What this function does is allow you to set up a target rate of acceleration and then modify the engine's torque output based on what's actually happening at the tyre in real time. So I understand that this sounds a little bit vague, so let me give you an example. You could use a drive shaft speed sensor and set up a map with a target drive shaft speed over time and if the actual drive shaft speed goes beyond your predefined target then the wheels must be slipping. So in this case the ECU can automatically adjust the power delivery by reducing the ignition timing or reducing boost or applying a rev limiter or even shutting off a nitrous solenoid that would stop the tyres from spinning. If the actual drive shaft speed falls below the predefined target well, the ECU can do the opposite and increase the engine's torque output by increasing the ignition timing or increasing boost or bringing in a stage of nitrous a little bit earlier. This is advanced torque management. The Elite 2500T also allows you to set up multiple correction profiles that can be modified based on the current track conditions. Want to get more advanced than that? That's fine too. You can actually use any sensor you like as an input into this system to modify how aggressive your torque management is. So you may have a varying drive shaft target RPM map based on the pressure on the wheelie bar, or perhaps the front wheel height, or maybe it's a combination of both of these inputs combined with a shock travel sensor. The options and complexity of the system are limited only by your own imagination and capabilities. So let's recap. The Elite 2500T ECU has all the functionality of the Elite 2500 ECU, which means it's got eight fuel injector outputs and eight ignition outputs. But on top of everything the 2500 has, the 2500T also has advanced torque management. Okay, so what happens if you need more inputs and more outputs than the eight fuel, eight ignition of the 2500T, but you also want to run advanced torque management? That's when you want to check out the race expansion module, which works in conjunction with your Elite 2500 ECU and expands your fuel delivery options to 16 sequential injection outputs, as well as giving you an additional 16 programmable inputs and eight more programmable outputs. One question we've already received about both the 2500T and the race expansion module is can my existing Elite ECU be upgraded to a T or integrated with the race expansion module? And the answer to that is yes. However, because the Elite 2500T is actually different hardware to the Elite 2500, you need to send your existing unit back to Howtech to be modified for this feature. To add the race expansion module to your existing ECU, we've developed a specific wiring harness to cater for this option. Less slip, more grip. So if you are serious about drag racing, you need to contact Howtech immediately to learn how the Elite 2500T and race expansion module can get you down track faster. Well, I'm Matt from Haltech, and I'll see you next time.